Happy New Year. Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2023 and I'm so glad you're here because there's just a lot of things that I want to do on YouTube this year. And last year was kind of like my first entry into YouTube. It was kind of an experiment. And then this year I really want to ramp things up and figure out how to make a lot of good content, useful content for you guys. Please feel free to let me know on literally any social media platform what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, and just in general, any feedback is very much welcome. So for my first video of 2023, I wanted to go over five skincare mistakes that you should stop making this year. So leave these behind in 2022. This is the year to establish really good, consistent skincare habits and really be diligent about them. You can kind of think of these as your 2023 skincare resolution. And for each skincare resolution that I share, I'm also going to share a personal goal or personal resolution that I have for 2023. And I would love to hear from you as well. Any resolutions that you have, skincare or personal, feel free to share one with me below and we can keep each other accountable and cheer each other on along the way. My very first skincare resolution for you is to respect your skin barrier. So we all know that the skin performs a lot of important functions. The skin is the largest organ that we have, and it's our first line of defense that keeps all the bad things out and all the good things in. So it keeps out allergens, irritants, microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and it keeps good things in like hydration, all of the things that we need that keep us healthy and strong. And so when your skin barrier is damaged, whether that's by skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis, whether it's by things you're doing, like you using really harsh skincare products or overdoing it. When our skin barrier is damaged, that means that it can't do its job anymore. It's compromised. The bad things get in, the good things that we want to stay in inevitably will go out. And so our first line of defense against the outside world is basically compromised. So that's why having a good skin barrier is so important. And my major tip for respecting your skin barrier is to listen to and love your skin. Don't go with just all the trends. You know, I see so many things on social media, namely TikTok and others, where people recommend that you do these crazy outlandish trends that are just that, they're trendy. But those things may not necessarily be good for your skin. One example is to not overdo it with the acids, with the exfoliants, with the retinoids. I find that skincare has gotten so complicated as a whole that people come up with all these really, really complex skincare routines and all these single ingredient products that people layer on, then add up together to form a lot of irritation on the skin. Your skin barrier can only take so much at one time. And so this first skincare resolution is to really respect your skin barrier, allow it to be at its healthiest point so that it can do its main job, which is to protect you from the outside world. Okay, my first personal resolution for 2023 is actually to just spend more time with my family. In my teens and 20s, I would say I focused probably 90% of my energy on my friends and my outside surroundings, thinking that it was just so important to me. I'm not saying that was wrong, but now that I'm in my 30s, squarely in the middle of my 30s, I really feel like just honing in on my family members and just loving on them, supporting them, and spoiling them. So my parents were driving the same car, the very same car they've had for 22 years. And after years of me convincing them, my dad finally relented this year and allowed me to buy them a Christmas gift. So I was so happy to spoil them with their dream car, which was a Tesla Model Y. And I'll never forget the look on my dad's face when I took him to the dealership and we found the exact make, model, color, interior, and all the specs that he wanted. And it just was an amazing feeling to be able to give back to my parents that way. We also took a family trip to Napa. It was my parents, my younger brother and his wife and Matt, my son and I. And it was really great just to spend two full days together. It didn't even matter that it was pouring the whole time. We just had a really great time eating together, laughing together and making memories. And those memories are truly priceless. That's my number one goal this year. All right, second skincare goal is if you have acne or if you're prone to breakouts, stop slugging. And you may say, wait, wait, Dr. Joyce, like slugging is all the rage on TikTok. Like I really like my Vaseline all over my face at night before I go to bed. And yes, sure, you may like it and it may feel good, but listen to me, if you have acne, then putting that occlusive on top, like a petrolatum based like Aquaphor or Vaseline, putting that occlusive 
thickly on top of your acne could actually trap bacteria and dirt and other things that you don't want to be trapped under there and kind of like festering on your skin all night. And the second reason is that if you have acne and you're using a lot of potent, harsh, drying ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, AHAs, BHAs like salicylic acid, if you're using those actives under an occlusive, that will actually make the actives much more strong and you'll be more prone to getting irritation and sensitive skin from them. So for those reasons, I would say if you have acne or you have an acne blare, please don't slug on top of that. Listen to your dermatologist, work with your dermatologist and treat the acne appropriately. My second personal resolution for 2023, and this one relates to my husband. My husband works at a tech startup. Well, I guess it's a mid-sized startup now, but it is pretty all-consuming. And you guys might think like being a dermatologist or being a doctor might have a more demanding schedule than someone in tech. That is not true. I have seen Matt at his company for the past five plus years now, and it's been a journey, one that requires a lot of support and sacrifice, frankly, from the family. Because while he's working hard, someone has to step in and take care of the kid and do other things. So my goal this year is to be as supportive of a spouse as possible and be very understanding when he has to spend a lot of time at work. And I bring this up because I think there are a lot of couples out there where both members of the couple have very demanding jobs. And in my mind, the only way to make this work is that we kind of take turns. We divvy up the responsibilities and then we also outsource a ton of things. So we have a wonderful nanny who helps us with laundry and cooking and taking care of our toddler. Our toddler's also in half day school for social skill development. So that helps too. And then our family, we rely heavily on our family too, who come to visit us in Seattle multiple times a year and offer that free childcare, which is the best. That's my second resolution this year is to just be a really kind, supporting and sweet wife to my husband as much as possible. Third skincare resolution is if you're still going to bed with a full face of makeup on, this is the year to stop that bad habit. I find that if you have thick foundation on or even a very oily, greasy sunscreen, that can definitely be comedogenic, causing more acne breakouts. It can also clog your pores. And overnight, our skin cells renew. And so you don't want to be having thick layers of makeup, foundation, sunscreen on top of that. So if you're still looking for a good way to clean your makeup off, I do recommend using the double cleansing method. So I start off with an oil-based cleanser. Some of my favorites include the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, as well as the Notorium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. I'll link both of those below. And then follow that up with a liquid-based cleanser like the Youth to the People Kale Spinach Wash or the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Both of these are great options. I'll link below to a full list of all my favorite cleansers. But this is the year to really dedicate yourself to removing your makeup thoroughly so that you can have a nice, clean blank slate to start doing all of your skincare routine steps after it. All right, my third resolution for 2023 is kind of a personal one. It is to find what I love about being on social media again. I say this because I've been on social media for a really long time. I started blogging as a medical student in 2011. So it's coming up on 12 years. And I feel like I used to get a lot of joy from posting on social media, from putting education out there and mostly from building a community and interacting with others who leave comments and things like that. But I would say for the past maybe three to five months, I've been really withdrawing. And that's because there's just been a lot of negativity on all these platforms. No matter what I write, someone has something mean to say. I felt like going on Instagram, going on TikTok, even going on YouTube sometimes, it really brought me down. I would doom scroll on my phone and leave the scrolling session feeling worse than I had before I started. And so I want this year to be sort of pressing reset on social media and coming back to the roots of why I even got on these platforms in the first place. It's to educate, to inspire, and to make connections with others who are interested in and love skincare. And that's not to say that I haven't made great friends and found amazing opportunities through social media. I have. And 2023, I want to just get back to posting whatever I want, posting something because it excites me and it makes me happy 
happy and engaging with others, responding to comments, and just focusing on building that community again. Fourth skincare resolution, if you are still popping your pimples, if you're going up to the mirror, when you see a blemish and you're like trying to pop and squeeze all that pus out, stop. You are not going to do that anymore. That bad habit is something we leave behind in 2022. 2023 is all about using a more elegant way to get rid of pimples. There's a couple things you can do. First, I recommend using a hydrocolloid acne patch. There's tons of brands that make really great ones. Mighty Patch is really great. That's from Hero Cosmetics. CosRx makes one. There's a ton nowadays on the market. These patches work by drawing pus and liquid out of the blemish. And more importantly, it keeps so that your little hands can't get to the acne and pick at it and cause a crater-like scar and hyperpigmentation. So that's one thing that you can do right off the bat that I highly recommend. The second is I highly recommend seeing a dermatologist who can ask you nuanced questions about what's causing your breakouts. Is it your diet? Is it related to your hormones? Is it related to stress? Is it related to your sleep habits or other lifestyle changes? And all of these things can help us figure out a plan for you, whether that involves topical medications, oral medications, or whatever. And you want to see a dermatologist to get that very detailed plan. So say goodbye to squeezing and say hello to hydrocolloid patches and a personalized acne treatment plan for you. My fourth resolution for 2023 personally is to try to make friends. This might just sound really weird to you, but let me explain. I grew up my entire life in the Bay Area, born in San Jose, lived my whole life in Cupertino and Los Altos and Palo Alto, went to college, went to med school at Stanford. So I stayed very local. And then I moved to New York for residency. That was my first time being away from home, but it's like I automatically had a community to plug into. I became really tight with my group of Stanford alumni friends. And then I also had my residency friends. So I automatically had friends. We decided to move to Seattle last year. So it's been like a little over one year since we relocated ourselves to the Pacific Northwest. And damn, it is hard to make friends as an adult. It's hard because I don't have coworkers. I work a non-traditional job. I work from home. I don't have any colleagues at my solo online dermatology practice. It's all me. It's a one woman show. So it's a lot harder than I thought to find and build a community and make good friends again. So this year, 2023, I want to focus on putting myself out there and making friends through church, through social media, through moms of my son's classmates, and make sure that I'm putting effort into that part of my life. Because I think as a mom and as a working professional, your life can get super, super busy. But for me, having good friends has always been what keeps me grounded. And so I really want to work on that. Okay, this last skincare resolution for 2023 is a no brainer. It's kind of like a freebie. You already know this already, but it is. If you are not using sunscreen routinely, this is your year. And there are so many great options nowadays. If you don't know what options to choose, I uploaded a video, I think last summer, it was one of my first videos on YouTube about all the sunscreens I packed on my Hawaii vacation. I'll probably end up doing a bunch more reviews because I have so much sunscreen in a drawer back there. You can always ask me for, you know, sunscreen recommendations. I'll also post a bunch in the comments below or in the captions below. So you really have no excuse if you're like, oh, but sunscreen gives me a white cast. There are a ton that don't. You can get tinted sunscreens. You can get chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens do not leave a white cast. And if you feel like, oh, some sunscreens are just so greasy and sticky, there's actually tons that are not sticky. So there really is a sunscreen for everyone. And just off the top of my head, a couple of my favorites that I use every single day, the Elta MD UV Elements. There's also an Elta MD UV Clear with niacinamide that's great for people with oily or acne prone skin. I love the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Love the Color Science Sun Forgettable Sunscreen. Love the Elastin Hydro Tint, even though it's a little bit orange for me right now. And you could always apply a base sunscreen and then put on makeup with SPF on top of that. Remember, makeup with SPF alone is not enough to be SPF. You have to put a base layer on first. All right. My my last personal resolution for 2023 has to do with physical fitness. This past break when I was at home, my best friend, Sally, I've known her since I was in college, so it's been like 15 years. She basically forced me to work out with her because she is a workout fanatic. And she took me to Barry's boot camp in Palo Alto, and I was anxious about that. I was anxious for 24 hours prior to the class because I was really worried that I would be so bad, that I would be embarrassed, and that everybody would be looking at me. But the class ended up being really fun. The instructor, Al, played amazing music, including Blackpink 
and all these hits from the 90s. And I, I felt like I was in a music video or something for workout stars. Half the class is treadmill, half the class is pumping iron. And during the pumping iron part, everybody was like lifting these like 25, 50 pound weights. And I was there with my little five pound weights, no shame in it. I just decided to go at my own pace and I kind of looked around and it was actually very inspiring to see all these buff people around me working out. So my goal this year is to work out at least twice a week. I know, but twice a week would be a step up for me. So I'm going to try to really commit to that. I do have a Peloton at home. We do have a Soul Cycle here. We also have a Barry's Boot Camp here. And I'm actually friends with one of the Barry's Boot Camp instructors here. So I'm really going to try to commit to working out at least twice a week. Well, thank you so much for indulging me. I really want to put more personal content on YouTube because it's fun for me. And I find that that's a way that I can connect with you guys. I obviously love sharing about skincare, hair care, nail care, and stuff like that. But I want you all to get to know me as a person too. Like I'm not just a dermatologist. I'm also a mom. I'm also an entrepreneur. I also have all these random things that I like. So I hope that 2023 will be a year of growth for us, for this channel. And we can explore different topics and different kind of directions to take this all in. And I'm really, really excited for what's ahead. So please go ahead and share one resolution that you have for 2023 with me in the comments below. Could be skincare, could be personal, whatever it is. Let's keep cheering each other on. Until next time.